Hi there. Hello. Greetings, salutations, and all that jazz. I'm starting up something a little different here today. Um, starting what I'm calling a 4K HDR sample series. So I'm just going through some of these um, Xbox One X and PS4 Pro enhanced games that I have and just providing some 4K HDR footage of them. Because it seems like on YouTube, at least, there really isn't all that uh, much in the way of options for this stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, some of the channels that I go to, like especially Digital Foundry, they do provide HDR footage of some games and 4K footage of some games, but not all, not all of them. Especially not HDR. So I'm just going to go through some of my back catalog, ideally one game a week, and provide a little bit of footage of each of the games I have, eventually extending to all of them. Maybe I'll skip over the few I'm not interested in, but um, today I'm starting, this week I'm starting out with um, Horizon Zero Dawn. A couple weeks ago I got a PS4 Pro, a used one for sale, and uh, something I've been wanting to do ever since I got this new TV earlier this year, and I finally got one. My goal is to put out one of these videos a week on Friday record them and upload them on Friday and they'll probably finish uploading sometime either Friday night or Saturday morning. We'll see how long it takes. But today I'm doing Horizon Zero Dawn. I have already started this game and played through the tutorial sections of it and gotten more or less to the open world part. So I'm just going to hit continue and we'll see how it goes. I'm not actually going to do all that much talking during these videos. This is more about showing off the, these games that run in 4K, or in this case, checkerboard 4K, or nearly 4K and HDR, if available. So yeah. Part of my goal to put out regular content on a regular basis, do a retro stream on Monday, a modern game stream on Wednesdays, and um, put out higher quality videos in terms of picture quality and resolutions and such bitrate on Friday as an as an upload not as a stream and here we are Need to get reacclimated to what I'm doing here. Here we go. And there's the map. This is just sort of the starting area. It's a pretty big map. This is the um, version that comes with the um, expansion. This game is actually cheap now. If you want to buy it digitally with the expansion, it's like 15 bucks on PS, play, the PlayStation Network's Black Friday sale. So if you're interested, go ahead and take advantage of that. I got mine with the system on a Facebook deal, where I actually bought it from a guy. And he, he, he came with this game. Alright, so let's take a look at what we're doing. Talk to Cursed. And then craft fire arrows. I'm over here, so I have to I guess keep going down this road and hunt for Blaze and shards. All right. Wait a Am I going the right way? I think so. Yep.
shards. Uh-oh, I think I angered one of these animals. These little pots. They're oh, hunting to me. I get back up there. I accidentally hit the roll button when I meant to hit the crouch. So yeah, that's not good. Not square. That's crouch. I don't like that. Ooh, these things are shooting at me. Still playing the tense combat music, so they must be somewhere nearby, but I can't see them. There, there it is. R1 to uh, do a melee attack. Got sort of a spear at one end of your bow. Should probably craft some more of these things. There we go. But yeah, I am playing this on a PS4 Pro. I do have HDR enabled in the resolution mode as well. So it is in a checkerboard 4K, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. I just know it's not rendering all of the uh, 3840 by 2160. Whatever they're hunting out there, it doesn't sound easy pixels worth of resolution, or resolutions worth of pixels. It's PS4 Pro has some sort of hardware feature that enables better checkerboarding. 
not too familiar with the technical details on that stuff. I just know that it's not a full native 4K, but it looks pretty good to my eyes anyway. I can't seem to jump on top of that. It's a nice detail on this here rock. At least when it's in focus. Yeah. And the character models nicely rendered as well. Look at that hair. Being a redhead helps hiding in this tall red grass. No, this is just a good looking game all around. Technical from a technical viewpoint, from artistic. Got some nice colors and such. I like it. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to get a PS4 Pro. And I hope to get some other games as well. Go to the Disc Replay Black Friday sale if they have one and get some cheap PS4 exclusive games like Shadow of the Colossus Remaster, God of War, um, Spider Man. It's too new to to fall under that, but get the Last of Us re, rema uh, remaster. Stuff like that. Maybe the Nathan Drake collection. Got some. Stuff. How many of those shards do I have to gather? Or am I even gathering the right stuff? Blaze from Striders. I guess here is not as big as I thought. Oh well. I'm about to actually exit the area. So let's go and... We're looking for striders. I do find these type of open world games a bit intimidating. Especially when they have stealth elements like this. But I've heard too many good things about this game. From too many people to not at least give it a try. That's a strider. And that is also a strider. I'm not exactly hidden here, so. Here we go again. I did get that ability. Wire, huh? We look at my skills, I unlock the silent strike, which I just use. Silent drop, which makes so I don't make any sound when I fall from a rock or something. So I have a time slow down thing when I'm aiming. And, um, thought I got another thing. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. Guess I only had three. Well, there you go. Now I'm hidden. I 
hit that yellow canister on the top. That's its weakness. good at this combat thing. It's playing that intense music like there's an enemy nearby, but there isn't. I picked up a rock. grass and go to our um crafting thing I guess and I need one more canister oh dear I think what I want to do is I want to get a nice um, shot at its eye and as my first shot and then aim for its canister, which is much to easier to hit. Later. Get it close to me. Get 
think that's about as good as I can get. And I did not roll in time. But other than that, I'd say that was pretty well executed. All right. Let's heal up. Oops. Wrong button. Now I have fire arrows. Actually, going to use them. So I think I need to trade for a trip caster. Am I supposed to stealth my way through this? Just because I'm shown doesn't mean I won't pass through. Now, I'm apparently some sort of outcast for some reason. Me and my surrogate father, I guess you'd say. And for some Tell reason, some I'm an outcast. To get a trip caster. And... Hopefully, they'll reveal some of the reasons why. In fact, that's actually kind of the mission that I'm on, is to find out why I'm an outcast. By entering some sort of tournament, and if I win, the, the tribe will grant me whatever wish I want. Hey, look, it's no one else around. Looks piggy. safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. Look at that. Something to grab. No. These are helpful. Bitter, though. There he is. Looks nervous. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All oh, mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. Hmm.
Something about a lens. Okay. That's a trap device. All right. Guess I'll put that on the down arrow or whatever. Now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop working. Have some pretty good detail on facial me. animations and such. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. Why do you take the risk trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the embrace. Matriarch said I was tainted and gave me five years. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in, even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. All right. Let's go to the North Gate. First of all, let's figure out where that actually is. On the way there, I think I'll hit these uh, one of these uh, campfires. I guess it's sort of a somewhat similar situation to like a Dark Souls game. You save at a campfire and... Yeah, but I don't think it respawns any enemies or anything like that. Look at that. <laughs> Scrabbling a bit. A manual save here. Not really sure what the difference between a manual save and a quick save is, but whatever.
This elaborate looking footbridge here. Basically, a tribal game, neo techno tribal game set in a post apocalyptic future. Hey, it's a fox. In Zelda Breath of the Wild, I call those floofers or floofies. Interesting, all the comparisons this game has been. Uh, has to Zelda, especially considering they both came out at about the same time. There he is. Right. I'm gonna Aloy. do a quick save. Oh, you're here. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Well, perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proven, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. And I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. Still a while to go before dark. Guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. That doesn't sound fun. I like sleeping. The snow's got a bite out here. Alright. What is it wanting me to go? Back to campfire, I guess.
hate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. You know, in these games, I like to pick up whatever I see. It's a lot like The Last of Us, except it's open world. Look, fireflies. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? What sort of machine does that? Sort of machine oh, I see. Oh, there he is. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Yep, that um, Bluetooth heads, headset, that Bluetooth earpiece looking thing that I'm wearing is what allows me to see all this, uh, say, digitized translations of these paintings. So I click R3, it gives me this enhanced view. Hey, look, a watcher. But I'm the one who's watching it, so it should be a watched. That's dumb. Anyway... In a sneaky sneak mode. He's not doing a very good job of hiding. There he is. I'd like to take that thing out if I can. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. All right. Doink. why the um, tribe didn't harvest these uh, things. Entire 
statues? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. Be nice if I had a um a campfire to light. Where am I on the map here? Is there a campfire? Well, they probably probably did give me a checkpoint at some point, but I don't I'd rather not rely on that. Okay, let's track its movement and see what we can learn about it. Its weakness is fire. If you get some elevation. Climb up that rock. Where did it go? Is that it? I don't know if it's going along a set path like the others. It probably isn't. about how much health it has. I don't know if it'll let me watch the um, video on that thing again.
There we go. I got a trophy. Okay, so it's going in a loop. Alright, why don't we, um... Set one up between that rock and that thing, right? Switch back to the fire arrows. Uh, well, it's causing burning damage over time, but it's not doing all that much. And I used three of my arrows on it. The good news is the thing hasn't spotted me yet. like it's resuming its original course. Alright, why don't we uh, switch back to... Oops, that's not what I want. Seem to work reasonably well, so I'll do that again. Riveting gameplay, isn't it? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow.
These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Heavy. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. Alright, I'm gonna find myself a save point. Like that. And do a manual save. I really only want to do about an hour's video each week of this um, quality level. Because I am, it is... 40 megs a second I'm recording this stuff at. And also, it's getting time for me to go to work, so I need to cut off this video. In any case, thank you for watching. I do appreciate anyone who takes time out of their busy lives to watch the videos I make. And I will see you the next time I do either a video or a stream. Every time's different. In any case, until next time, take it easy.